Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I made a video about nodes and the difference in cusp. And I kind of left out, and then I had I had somebody, I kind of left out straight lines. So when you have a straight line, there's nothing you can really do to it. There's no changing. But if you select them both and right click, and then you can turn it to a curve. And what that did, it, it allows me to curve it, the straight line. But I've also added three cusps. And somebody asked, well, and they're not automatically um, cusp. Like that's not a cusp. It is, but you can't do anything with it because it's still a straight line. So you have to select all these nodes, right click, and turn it into a curve. And then click on that one, right click, and turn it in to either a, so it's already a cusp. So you can turn it into a smooth or symmetrical. So let's make this one smooth. And if you remember, if you watch the other video, it does a perfect smoothness of it. So if we click on this, we have to click on all these, right click, turn it into a curve, and then you can take that one and turn this one into symmetrical. And then it does it evenly. I think, I hope I did it. Yeah, see this is smooth, where you can move it around and it's not even where this is symmetrical, where no matter what you do, it's going to be symmetrical. And then, of course, this is a line. It only has two nodes. If you can see right here, curve on two nodes. All you have to do to add a node is get on the line and double click. Now, it came in as a curve. So all you have to do is right-click and turn it to a cusp. So right-click will change when you have something done. Now, if you want to add, just while we're here, if we want to add more nodes than that, so we got two nodes. All you have to do, go right here to add a node. It'll put one right in the middle, and then it's going to put another one in between those two, and another one, another one. You can do it. Now, I've got my nodes extra large, like I showed in the other video, so go to Options, Corel Draw, and I'm going to turn it back to small, which you should normally have probably, and then when you click off of it, it takes just a second. And now, now they're small nodes. And this is more or less what you want to work with. Um, you can tell that they're what they are. And, you know, if we want to make this one a, a line, we can make it a line. And then when it comes down, that part is straight. So we need to, let's back up here. Let's make these three lines. And now when we grab that, it's going to be a straight line. We maybe went too far past the, well, maybe that's, that shouldn't do that. Let's back up here. Let's see what this node is. Right click on it. Let's make it a line. Let's make this one a line too. So I'm just right clicking and turn them into a line. And then we can take that node and it makes it a straight line. Now you can make this a curve now and it won't affect and you could do anything you want to with it. But right click will bring up your menu that you can do and you can break the you can break them apart. And then if you want to get rid of this, it's broken so it'll not cut through it. So that's a little bit more information about nodes. And I hope I answered that gentleman's question and thank you for watching.